Hello, everyone. Welcome to this special collective reading. This is a, I guess we'll call it an impromptu, what wants to come through. Um, so I just, I felt the need to do a reading, an extra reading. Right now, it's a Tuesday night uh, where I am, and I don't know if I'll post this Tuesday night or Wednesday morning, but this is when the reading's happening, and it's just for, you know, energies that are currently with us. So again, it's like just an impromptu, and whatever wants to come through is going to come through, and, and, um, so that's what we'll do. So I hope you're all doing well. Please read the uh, description box to find out information uh, about, about this channel and about this reading. I appreciate that. Um, I'm getting the name Hutchins already, and I was getting Hogan right before this. I'm getting Jamie now as well. Javier. Whoa. Wow. Okay. That doesn't generally happen for me. Um, we're going to try this again. Let's see. And I do tune into Reiki before the reading, so I'm connecting with Reiki. Messages for the highest, greatest good of this collective, please. These are timeless messages. Even though I'm saying it's Tuesday night, um, it's, these are, this is a timeless message. So whatever, it's like whenever you find it, that's when you're meant to find it. I'm hearing Libra. I, I'm definitely connected to Libra energy, but I actually am just now hearing Libra. I'm also hearing sober truth. Now that may or may not be related to Libra, but I'm hearing sober truth. Okay, so we have the lovers. All right, this is Gemini. This may even turn into a love reading. I don't yet know. If it starts to, then I'll then we'll do it. That's what needed to come through. Gemini lovers, okay? Um, so this is that, that soulmate love, that alignment. Um, you know, the way I read love in any of this is it can also be, the love you have with yourself or the love you have with your spirituality, um, the universe, etc. cetera. Um, it doesn't have to always be romantic love. You know, if in soulmates aren't always people and they're not always romantic either. So, you know, when I see the lover's card, it is about, yes, the alignment, but it's also about just the connection in general, that choice, that fulfillment. It's, it's a love card. And I just saw 222 on the clock. I'm hearing, um, no, I'm not actually, I'm not hearing that now. Some of you might need to water your plants. That's coming through. Okay. Wow. This, there's some, okay. There's some explosive energy here. I don't know if some of you are in a passionate situation or what's happening, but we now have the four of wands. This is the 1111 card. This is fire energy. So Leo, um, Leo Sag Aries. And this is celebration, you'll see here. This is big celebration. There could be some sort of commitment. This could definitely have to do with family, could be settling down even. It could be uh, even graduation. It could be really be anything. I'm also just now hearing acupuncture. So I don't know, maybe somebody is graduating acupuncture school or you're considering studying that or maybe you're considering doing that or maybe you are already an acupuncturist, but I am getting that energy as well. And... Yes, there's some passion here. Oh, wow. Mm -mm. Oh, boy. We'll see what's going to happen here. Hmm. So you've got a, a choice. It could be your ultimate happiness. Let's see, though. I'm hearing Afghanistan now, and I'm not sure if some of you like served in the military or someone is serving now, but uh, or if you're just from Afghanistan, but I am hearing that. Okay. So now we have the star in reverse, the five of pentacles, reminds me of Spider-Man, and the tower. All right, so this could be why I needed to tune in for you now. Maybe you need some direction or some information about whatever this tower might be. Now, the tower doesn't have to be anything major, um, but it is usually a shock or surprise. You know, it's not usually expected. Um, particularly with this card, it's it's important to note the foundation isn't destroyed. So any previous work you already have, whatever, that's not destroyed. Uh, that's not, it wasn't for nothing. I just heard it's not all hogwash. Um, hogwash is not something I use as a word usually, so that's pretty cool, hogwash. Um, so, and then you have the seven, this, okay, six, so and I'm getting them, these are, okay. So with a star card reversed, um, there could be some healing that needs to happen, actually. Uh, you have the Five of Pentacles. There could, there could definitely be some healing that needs to happen with the Star card in reverse. Uh, generally, 
you know, this, okay, so there could actually have something that, that right now that, um, first I'm getting there could be someone trying to capture your attention or they may have already grabbed your attention. Okay. Um, I'm getting there's a need for contemplation. You could actually, it's possible you're taking a break from each other, but it's also possible that something hasn't even started. Um, I'm getting, uh, now this is only for some of you, but there could be a bit of codependency in whatever relationship we could be talking about. If this is, you know, all about a relationship, I kind of feel like it is, I'll be honest. Um, We'll see if other messages want to come through. But for right now, there's an important relationship here. And it feels as though you may be going backwards with someone or you there's some sort of healing that needs to happen to restore the harmony, the balance in the relationship, in the situation. Five of Pentacles, that's generally um, so that's Earth energy. And with the star card, you have Pisces energy here. Um, I'm sorry, Aquarius, Aquarius energy. and. Uh, this is going to be, uh, I said already, Leo, Zeri, Sag, and then there's uh, Five of Pentacles, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, and then you have the Tower, which is any energy, really. There's something we're not seeing, though. And I don't mean that to be, I'm not trying to be all, ooh, there's something we're not seeing, mysterious here. No, there really is. I feel like there's something, there's been some pain. And um, you could be facing the truth of the matter. That's something coming through now, too. Um, things, I'm getting this topsy-turvy. Um, I'm getting uh, things really being spun around. Uh, I'm even hearing, oh, what a tangled web we weave, you know. Um, what you thought could have been maybe your dream or something to celebrate with a person or with a situation. It's possible you're now left feeling somewhat stranded, isolated, alone, in solitude. But I don't feel like your determination is, is deterred. I feel as though there is still focus here. And this, is, this can still be a fertile time, even if you're not feeling it or seeing it yet. Now, I just want to let you know I'm straight up channeling right now. Okay, so I'm just like, it's sort of like a stream of consciousness just coming out of my mouth. Okay, so I'm getting resolution here. There's, there could be some sort of big revelation uh, where there is resolution coming. Hmm. Something could have started or finished at harvest time. I'm hearing uh, there's something about um, something was lacking in the matter. And I'm picking up on rhinestones. This could also be a name, Ryan Stone, but I am picking up on rhinestones right now. Um, there is something that, so finding out whatever this is that could cause a tower, um, a collapse of how things are in order to start over for something better. Hearing that could, it can lead to elevation, but not necessarily without turmoil. There may need to be a bit of that. And I'm just, you know, I'm the messenger here. So, and again, this is not necessarily a psychic reading for you. You know, this is a general tarot reading for a lot of viewers. Um, so if you don't already have this going on, you know, don't worry about it, right? <laughs> and even if you do have it going on, I don't see that it's, it's something that he needs to worry about. I'm hearing Brent. I'm also hearing Lockwood. Um, feeling uh, stability and security is being affected by whatever this is going on here in your energy. Now, we started out so nicely, and I feel almost like that could be how you're feeling, like your chain was yanked or something. Um, one minute, your you know, soulmate alignment here, divine timing and guidance, and then there's something that kind of throws that off and changes the energy. Hmm. We're going to clarify all this, but wow. All right. Someone trying to pick up some pieces here, but there was some red flags. Okay. There were red flag warnings. 
I'm getting. Um, this could be a cycle that you've gone through with someone before. I am seeing a lot of circular spiral type energy here throughout these cards, throughout these three. So it may not have been your wish after all. I'm hearing sabotage. Um, and it could, I don't know if it's self sabotage or some, or inner conflict or on someone's part. I don't know that yet. We are going to clarify though. Let's clarify. What do we have here for the lover's card? Can we please clarify the lover's card? Spirit, angels, guides, tuning into Reiki for the highest, greatest, good messages, impromptu, what needs to come through? What do we have? Desiree, I right hear. Hope your name's not Desiree and then I pull this. No, but this is actually, this to see the Ten of Swords in reverse is, is definitely better than seeing it um, upright. So this is a close, this is an ending, but I'm hearing it's actually someone's coming out of hermit mode, even though we don't have the hermit card here. And I just saw 11, 11 on the clock. Now, again, that goes with here. So you're getting divine intervention here, but I'm not so sure it feels like it. I'm hearing something about cosmic trust, needing to have cosmic trust. And okay, you could be questioning someone if they, they're trustworthy or they could question you and that might hurt. That could kind of, oh, okay. So this is a, swords energy is, it's about communication. It's about uh, cognitive, you know, thinking uh, the mind. It's, it's about uh, the truth to being revealed, you know, clarity a lot of the times with the swords. Um, this is, that's, so that's uh, air energy, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini which is funny because it's right under the Gemini card. I just feel like this is an end to some real frustration and heartache. What a journey it's been. Hmm. I'm getting the color orange as well. Hmm. Now I'm getting amphibians as well. And amphibians you know that that could certainly have something to do you know someone maybe may have a love for amphibians uh, and reptiles but um when i hear when i have amphibian here it reminds me of like having to be um here and there at the same time so take it how it resonates but amphibians and reptiles there's they're um and this is from uh, ted andrews i study ted andrews um uh, author of Animal Speak and other things. So if you watch my channel, you know, I reference Ted Andrews a lot. So these are cold blooded creatures. Okay. They're affected by whatever's going on in their environment. Okay. So I'm getting amphibians for this, for a big part of whatever this is. Okay. And so the appearance of an amphibian is telling us that our sensitivity to the world um, and our ability to adapt is, is quite good. Like amphibians live in two worlds. They're on land, they're in water and they reflect their ability to blend worlds and realms. So that could be physical, spiritual, male, female, waking, sleeping, etc. cetera. Uh, they, but they teach us about being selective in our environments. There could have been something that was hidden in plain sight, a chameleon type energy that you may have missed. It's possible. And You could have overlooked some red flags, giving someone the benefit of the doubt. What else do we have here, please? Let's clarify that four of wands, please. This is coming out of that suffering. It's an end to the suffering. Just saw 1414. And here's the queen of swords. There's that clarity. You can celebrate the fact that things are clear. Now, this is direct communication. This is open communication. This is somebody who doesn't, um, I don't want to say this person doesn't negotiate, but this is like a, I will accept this, but not that and no less than this, like very, being very clear on what it is that they'll, that they'll uh, take. You could be getting clear on that. Um, or you could have felt clear, you know, with this four of wands, let's get more here. That's certainly a, a decision though. The decision is being made. This is definitely clarity. All right. The queen of swords doesn't take any drama crap. She's, this is like, 
uh, direct, intelligent. This is setting boundaries, being discerning, being independent. And again, that's also Aquarius, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so happy for this. Okay. <laughs> I try not to get attached to outcomes, but this is really good. I just saw 1515 15 on the clock, the 15th or the 6th or the 1st or the 5th could be important. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> so we have Aquarius energy again. Now it's upright. The star card is upright. So now I'm starting to feel this could have been a past, present, future sort of thing. So like, you know, the time is fluid, though. That's what's so funny when you're reading energy and you're feeling energy. Uh, I'm getting something about needing to change channels. So changing the channel on something. Um, this is the healing. This is healing. This is, I'm hearing Ruth. All right. Um, so this is healing. This is uh, balance, right? Um, this is being here and there. Remember I said um, amphibians. This is the life of an amphibian, right? Water, earth, earth, water. So needing to, again, blend that together. Uh, maybe you're blending families or you're something with somebody. Maybe you're trying to incorporate a passion of yours into it, having it be a career. Maybe you thought it was going to happen and then there was some sort of setback. That could be, I'm hearing Diane. Javier, Eduardo, Queen of Wands, so fire energy, so Sag, Leo, um, Aries, and this is, again, this is more independent energy here. This is also a psychic energy here, very intuitive energy here with the Four of Wands. Check out this black cat, right? Feline companions, that again, that's independence, that's intuition, that's, um, it can be magic too, you know? Um, the Queen of Wands is, is one who... <laughs> Whether they mean to or not, they draw attention to themselves um, because they are that fiery, passionate uh, go-getter. They're entrepreneurs. They're visionaries. They're um, very self-confident. They're ambitious. So we have two queens out now for you. And male, female, doesn't matter. Oh, one card fell and I didn't even feel it. So let's see what this says. Now, the fact that I didn't feel it, there are no coincidences when I'm doing these readings. So whatever this is, it matters somehow, the fact that I didn't see it coming. The hanged one in reverse. Yeah, you could have definitely had some sort of, um, some sort of revelation or been forced to see the light I'm hearing um, on something that it, you didn't maybe think it mattered, but now it does matter. It does matter. And I'm hearing chariot. So I'm hearing that, um, Oh my gosh, I looked at the bottom of the deck and here's the tower again. So there it is. Oh, okay, and death. Okay, so there's definitely an end to something. It's going to bring an end to conflict too, which is good. Now I want to look at the top here and we have the Empress. Okay, so this is good, but I'm feeling that chariot still. Yeah, I'm not seeing it, um, but let's see if we got anything. No, okay, so this is, I'm going to put this deck down for now. Let's look into what we have here. Uh, there is some sort of change here. You know, we've got, I mean, you have the death card here. We have the tower twice. We have an end to conflict here with this five of wands. Okay. This is not wanting to fight anymore. This is like not even having the energy to do it. I'm also hearing Beverly. Now landing with the Empress, this is it, this is like starting all over with a fer fertile cycle. This is going with the flow. This is, you know, having everything you need. This is making it happen. This is a very feminine, motherly kind of energy as well. It's all about creation here. All right. And this is a stable energy too. This is all of the queens combined is the empress, which is really awesome. Uh, that's a great way to uh, to land on this card is, is that's beautiful considering there's some hardship here. I'm hearing Clinton. I'm also getting justice. That could be a name, but it could also be that there is some justice. Now, this is a Libra card, a Taurus card, because they're both ruled by Venus. So this could have to do with love. If not, it's some sort of other commitment, something that um, you're very uh, you know, passionate about. This is change, though, this transformation. We have the death card here. That's Scorpio energy. That is change. But remember, just like with the Ten of Swords, there's that sunrise, there's that new dawn, new day. Hmm. 
Vincent and Horatio. I'm also getting octagon, octagonal. I'm getting the number eight a lot. This could have to definitely do with your pentacles. <laughs> this could have to do with your pentacles. Oh, okay. All right. I get silly sometimes. I'm hearing Libby. Hmm. Now there's a trip down memory lane that's being, t I'm being told. Um, there's a trip down memory lane. Are, are, do you want to take that trip? You have the opportunity to ride solo. And that's it. That was the end of that message. Okay. So th take that how it resonates, if it does at all for you. I'm being drawn back to this hanged one. Uh, so when the hanged, hanged one is in reverse, um, this is, this is about, um, like a self-sacrifice, um, could be despair. So there could be, I mean, that's with the tower. So these are linked to the tower. Those were the clarifiers for the tower. So that totally makes sense. And end to the conflict, excuse me, this was also linked with the towers. As was the five of wands in reverse. I don't know that really much, I'm hearing Gordon. I don't know that in Emery, I'm not sure, Eugene. Okay, we're getting a lot of different names here. So that's fine. I'm also seeing uh, balloons. So um, you could like hot air balloons, but there could also be uh, balloons in general. I'm getting like a colorful bunch of balloons. Maybe you did a balloon release. Maybe you're having a gender reveal. Maybe it's a birthday celebration, something with balloons though. I'm also getting somebody doesn't like balloons or maybe somebody's pet. There's something about um, I'm getting Finley, Finley as well. Okay, so I'm getting octopus. So again, with the eight, there's something there with the eights. Now, eights generally have to do about prosperity. Uh, it could be navigation authority. It could be cycles. It can also have to do with infinity, right? And balance, um, not in balance and balance. All right. Um, I don't know if I'm missing anything here. Oh, I'm, I, I had mentioned um, I had mentioned octopus. So octopus has to do with using your intellect. So I'm hearing something about heart's desire, but needing to actually use your wit and wisdom. So using your intelligence, stealth, and camouflage. Oh, we already had. Hearing Jackson, we also we had a, oh in Knoxville. We also had uh, I mentioned cam, uh, chameleons and amphibians over here, and that is kind of move that's carrying you through. Once you adopt that energy, that's how you're going to get back into your power here. Okay, realizing that you know sometimes we have to be both, whatever that means for you. Sometimes it's not this or that. I've brought this up in many other readings that I've done. There's a lot of that coming through right now in readings where it's, it's not so clear and it's about having to blend, having to blend. Okay. And about, you know, you know, this is a journey, um, and making sure you're the one still in power though. You are in power of your own destiny. Um, now octopus, yes, it's about using your um, chameleon-like abilities, you know, and not acting without thinking. So that's why I'm being drawn to this hanged one upside down. And I'm hearing octopus. This is totally all about your intellect and not making that decision until you're very clear yourself, taking however much time you need to. I just saw 55. So that is what's going to help with this change. After you're coming out of that tower, that death, um, Making sure you're acting on your ideas before other people do. You don't want other people claiming your ideas as their own, right? So it's just going to be about uh, timing here, all right? There is going to be something about timing. I'm hearing Vanessa. All right. Um, this also could have to do with love, okay? So again, like getting clear, making sure. But again, um, having that flexibility, being in the flow, that that's going to help you get back into this energy, the star upright, the queen of wands upright, that queen of swords upright. This is a very good row. When you look at the contrast, it's like, oh, okay, something clearly got flipped upside down here. And then we had all this, right? It's not that it's bad though. I'm hearing Shelly in Des Moines. 
but then yeah some of you may uh, be working with or have a birthstone of garnet uh, that's that nice uh, deep red red orange even like a burgundy color stone that's a good stone for leadership um, and it also is a good stone it's you know connected to depending on which variety you have but um say it's deep red it that would have to do with your your stability security family even that's your um that's your base chakra your first chakra hmm. that's the that's your root chakra it's like i have knowing what you have you know as far as resources and things I'm getting some mars energy here that's action energy as well so yeah this is um pretty straightforward in a way a lot of there were so many messages packed in though and i was i intended this to be about 10 or 15 minutes and now we're already at 26 minutes um okay so i feel good about this the fact that the um the empress has all the stars on her crown too this is good this is very good i'm getting some sort of closure to some litigation for some of you as well and i'm also picking up on some sort of ceremony okay it doesn't have to be religious it could be but it doesn't have to be there's some sort of ceremony maybe you know graduation could be upon us for some of us it um, might be a little early for some but for others it could be a graduation ceremony sometimes though with tarot readings you know things come through as metaphors um so it could be like some sort of official like recognition for something maybe you do all this shadow work or something or you just make a decision on something you get very clear and then you're you know like haha now you're at this special point in your life which could be a ceremony that's not an actual ceremony if that makes sense i hope it does for some of you now i want to know if there's anything i'm missing here with this let's get um let's get a few of these cards what else do we need to know? Do we need to clarify any of this further? Any other names want to come through? Whoa. All right. We have some cards here. Blair. Blair and Donahue or Donna. Donna. Oh, okay. So miracles. Expect the wonders to emerge. Expect the wondrous to emerge. That's the genie in a lantern here or Aladdin in the lantern. Um, joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. Joy could be someone's name too. I'm also getting cardinals, the red bird cardinal, and the number 28, which is a one, zero, which is a one. So that's, again, the cycles. Um, when cardinals appear, angels are near. I'm being reminded to tell you to be reminded of that. <laughs> so I'm also getting 007. Uh, I don't know if some of you are James Bond fans or if the names make sense to you or something, but I'm getting that too. Um, I'm hearing Shira, Shira as well. Believe in magic. In the flow, everything is smooth sailing. In infinite abundance, abundance is pouring into your life. Look at that. And here's the Empress card. So, you know, I didn't, didn't want to, you know, I don't I try not to sugarcoat because that's just not realistic. So it does appear, you know, there could be uh, some challenges here, could have you kind of, you know, needing to reorient yourself. But once you do, I mean, you have the resources to do that. Look at all this. You have like all major arcana or court, court cards, except for like just a couple. Yeah, there are only one, two, three, four four cards out of the out of the two four ten twelve however many we have here now wow okay so that's that's really good let's get you um some kind of another message though we're going to end with this i think with this key oracle card message here humanitarian okay it looks like we're going to just take this one. I'm hearing Phoebe. Okay, fine. We'll take that one too. I'm, I'm not going to look at these though, okay? We're not looking at those. <laughs> All right. Humanitarian, your soul longs to joyfully serve. Being of service is a huge calling that is honorable and satisfying. 
How are you being called to serve humanity? Serve with grace and humility to assist those that cannot help themselves. Remember, we have that five of pentacles. Because this all could be, this storyboard could be all about somebody you know. This may not even be about you. Be an advocate, a confidant, and an inspiration along the way. Someone going within to become enlightened. Addictions, compassion. The situation is influenced by an addictive behavior that is influencing you or the person involved. Now, this does not have to be substances, by the way. Pain and trauma are being projected. Try to see the truth of the situation by stepping outside of the chaos to create an opening for forgiveness, patience, and compassion. I do want to get you one other card because birds wanted to come through. Some of you may have had a pet named Shadow. I'm also getting Wisteria. Could be Worcester. Worcester. Could be Worcester. I have family near Worcester. That's in Massachusetts. For those of you who aren't familiar. New relationship developing. Courtship and mating. Oh, there's another 1111. For me, this is an 1111 card. I always view it as that. Um, this is a happy dance too. So there could be, it could be an improving relationship with yourself, with um, your angels and guides, God, whatever you believe in. Um, but yeah, this is, this is um, new. This is going into something new. Definitely new beginnings. Okay. And I don't know if I said it before, I'm getting Hutchins and Hopkins as well. Those wanted to come through and uh I'm getting familia, so family for some of you, okay? Um, some of you may have Italian uh, ancestry too. Um, so I'm getting that coming through. All right, so this is the reading. Um, wishing you all well. Um, I'd like to maybe, I'm just so tempted. It's like I just can't stop. I want to get you a little fortune cookie here because I feel like we're going to get something about miracles or something. That, that was flipped upside down. I don't know why. Society. Say yes to all the wonderful invitations coming your way. Excellent networking opportunities and new love interests for singles will be the result. Oh, so there's that love wanting to come through again. It started and now coming through again. Okay, do we have anything else for these folks here or watch? Wow, okay, how, why are, that's not, this is so interesting. There are other cards that are flipped over in this deck. And uh, so here are three messages for you. That is so interesting. So what do we have? We have wisdom. The focus on the past is to lose, oh, to focus on the past is to lose the future. Heed advice from an older person, which will allow you to move on. All right. Care required. Guard yourself against deception and be careful of making foolish mistakes at this time. Let's get another. Somebody's got bubble gum. Major life change. Time is right for major life changes as a new lifestyle or location brings great joy in a trouble-free existence. All right. I'm hearing Desmond again. Desmond. All right. Um, that's that. Okay. So this is what wanted to come through. Um, this is the impromptu what, what needs to come through. All right. Maybe I'll start calling it that uh, because it rhymes and it also describes what this reading is. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. Please do like, share, subscribe. It'll really help my small channel grow and let me know what it is you like and what you're connecting with so I know to do more of that. So have a wonderful, um, well, whenever you're watching this, just have a wonderful everything. Okay. <laughs> I don't mean that sarcastically. Um, you know, whatever you're facing now, uh, I'm hearing that, you know, this too shall pass. You know, I mean, you might not love hearing that, but it is true that, um, you know, everything in time, you know, everything, uh, sometimes things come in our lives out of order and we really like order generally. And, um, this is somebody's message. So yeah, you have things to look forward to in this reading. Um, especially with the Empress card here in this new relationship, it could be with anything or about anything or anyone. All right. Well, thank you very much. And this is my now second goodbye. <laughs> Have a great night, day, morning, afternoon, evening. Take care.